Hello. This is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in today's video, I'm going to go over an update made to Playwright as part of version 1.42, which allows us to change the way we tag our tests. I thought this was a really neat feature added. It makes your test titles a lot cleaner, but it also makes your test reporting a lot cleaner too. So let's jump right into this. You don't really need to worry about the code I have inside the tests here. This is just from a separate video, which you'll see on my channel as well. But I have three tests. I have test called basic test with a tag of at subscribe. I have test basic two with a tag of like, and then I have basic three, which has two tags of like and subscribe. Now, if you are following along with this, just make sure in your package, Jason, you've updated to version 1.42 or greater. I'm running npm install in your command line to make sure everything is up to date. But all I want to do right now is I'm just going to run all three tests to show that the three tests actually run and work as expected. There we are. You've got basic with that, basic two and basic three, all three run and passed. Now, this is nothing new. It's nothing we haven't seen before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Playwright config and I'm actually going to add a grep in here to say, I only want to run the test with the tag of subscribe. Once again, nothing new in here. All I'm doing is filtering the test down to say only run basic because that's got a tag of subscribe. Skip this one because there's no subscribe tag and run basic three. So if I just run the test, we'll see we have two tests running and passing. You'll see you've got the tags in the title there. And if I actually say MPX Playwright Show Report, you will see that the two tests appeared. You've got basic here with at subscribe with the subscribe tag pointed out here. And we've got basic three with the two tags with them both tagged here. Now, one thing to mention is what you see here in the title is basic at subscribe. When I show you the new implementation of tagging, you'll clean this up where you don't see this anymore because it's not in the title, but you still have the tag pop populating here. So you can do things like filtering if I search for like only the test tagged with like appear. But what it means is it's going to clean up the way our test reports are. And just in the test files themselves, it's going to look a lot nicer separating them out from what the title is. So let's jump into this new implementation. Let's close this and clear this down. And what I can do then is here, let's say, let's add a new object. Let's add a comma there. And inside the object, we want to say tag. And I'm going to add an empty array at the moment. And what I'm going to do is hover over this. And you can see it can either take a string or a string array. In my case, I'm going to take a string array in case I ever want to add more tags. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the at subscribe from the title and place it inside the array itself. And I'm going to do the same thing down below on this test. Let's take this. Let's paste it into here. And this will be like. And you've guessed it, I'm going to do the exact same thing on basic three. But instead of just like, I'm also going to say and add subscribe in quotations. So now what I've done is I've cleaned up my test title to be only what the test is itself. But I've added this object now, which has a tag property, which allows me to specify as many tags as I want in an array or as a single string. Now, what this means is if I run my test, what you'll see is when running the test, you've only got the title here now, so you don't have all the kind of tags, which if you have a lot on your test, it can add up really bad. It can, it can add up a lot and make reading those test runs a lot harder. It's cleaned all that up. But also now, when I go into the report, you'll see, just as I mentioned, you now only have the test titles, but also you still have the tags appearing here. So I can say filter by like tag or filter by subscribe which will bring both up, of course. But now we have that option to filter by the tags without needing to ruin the actual test name itself. And of course, as you've seen as well, it all still works exactly the same. You've only run the two tests. And like, if I decided to only run the like test, the, the like tag, it'll do the same thing. Now, I thought this was really neat to show everyone because I think this is, this is probably a better practice for your playwright test. So if you do have this old tagging system, don't worry. It still will work. You can add 
whatever you want into here they can you can still you can still add the tags into the title but like i said i think it's better now to convert into this to keep your title nice and clean and concise to the point whereas you can specify as many tags as you want in this object itself as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks on my video. So if you do want to contribute to help towards the running of my channel or my website, that will always be appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good day.